I shall warm. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Brach to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakar Kadash. Rakar Kadash. We give double honors to our apostle elders, which are apostle elders at Great Millstone, that have been given the truth by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's mercy, and uh, to the uh, hopeful elect out there on the four corners of the planet Earth that's pushing this truth with sincerity, honesty, and faith. That's uh, to the hopeful elect that's that's trying to come up in this thing, man. That the Lord is going to seal in these last days. Abarath is always being that number. Uh, so this is a, a, a RIFD update because uh, I've, I've been watch, trying to keep up with the Internet of Things. You know, it's one of those. It's it's, it's around. It's one of those topics that's uh, it's, it's starting to gain traction. OK, because these elites have set the basic basis of this system where they can keep track of everything and, and be like the most high because the most high has a sensory system on a spiritual level. That he, he can he can be everywhere, know everything, like the most high. That's why it's omnipotent, man. Okay, that's why this devil is trying to, to put himself in that role of knowing what how things are moving at every given moment, okay? Especially the people. Where you try they already track you by your credit cards. That's a big psyop, okay? One time people didn't want that to happen to know where they're purchasing, what they're eating. You know, it's called privacy. Now they're giving up privacy. That's why social media, it, it forces you to, to capture your life and post it on the Internet for likes, so-called likes. But it's really for gathering information, man. They tell you that information is money. That's why some companies will buy user information from companies or companies will sell that information. All right. How do you think Facebook is a billion dollar company because of the information that it gathers, man? OK information is is a uh, uh, very important to this uh devil so now i'm just gonna go through just in case brothers don't know what the internet of things is i'm sure brothers have done many videos you know on this topic i know i've done one one or two videos on it so i just wanted to play this quick little video snippet and uh it'll break down the internet of things i'm not gonna play it all but then i'm gonna bring out an article and uh we'll go from there the internet of things is changing much about the world we live in from the way we drive, to how we make purchases, and even how we get energy for our homes. Sophisticated sensors and chips are embedded in the physical things that surround us, each transmitting valuable data, data that lets us better understand how these things work and work together. But how exactly do all these devices share such large quantities of data, and how do we put that information to work? Whether we're improving the production of a factory, giving city residents real-time updates on where to park, or monitoring our personal health. It's the common Internet of Things platform that brings this diverse information together and provides the common language for the devices and apps to communicate with each other. The process starts with the devices themselves, which securely communicate with an Internet of Things platform. This platform integrates the data from many devices and applies analytics to share the most valuable data with applications that address industry-specific needs. Let's start with a simple example, a car. After taking a long road trip, Rebecca notices that her check engine lights come on. She knows that she needs to have her car looked at by a mechanic, but is not sure whether it's something minor or something that needs immediate attention. As it turns out, the sensor that triggers Rebecca's check engine light monitors the pressure in her brake line. This sensor is one of many monitoring processes throughout the car, which are constantly communicating with each other. A component in the car called the diagnostic bus gathers the data from all these sensors and passes it to a gateway in the car. The gateway integrates and sorts the data from the sensor. This way, only the most relevant diagnostic information will be transmitted to the manufacturer's platform. But before sending this organized data, the car's gateway and platform must first register with each other and confirm a secure communication. The platform is constantly gathering and storing thousands of bits of information from Rebecca's car and hundreds of thousands of cars like her, building an historical record and a secure database. The that that's what they're gonna try to do to the people man okay when when you what you eat what you do what you drink all these things are gonna be gathered information wise okay and put into Esau's little mechanisms of knowing what the fuck is going on in the world I mean I don't even know why somebody would what does this benefit man you know I mean it doesn't it, it really doesn't benefit any, anything man to know all this information you know, really doesn't. You know, just get the car looked at. Let the man that does the car stuff inspect it and get it taken care of. All right, so let me jump into these articles. Now we know with the Internet of Things, how it works. Um, 
let me start by using I'll go here okay because do we tell you in Revelation 13 and 19 that this mark that's going to be put is, is going to it's going to um, you're not going to be able to do certain things in society all right you're going to be able to do next to nothing pretty much okay if you do not have this mark of the beast so this is a uh, it's from uh, RFID journal okay and it's got an, a lot of good articles on here man dealing with the RFID chip I'm talking I'm from energy to healthcare to logistics manufacturing retail aerospace all these things have to do with the RFID chip all right but this article right here is specifically dealing with it says RFID enabled hands free transit entrance for Vancouver this the uh this um disabled vancouver disabled see so now you ain't going to be able to enter certain buildings if you don't even have that chip you might not be able to go through certain gates if you don't have that chip so you really won't be able to do all they got to do is put it at the grocery store door show your chip you can't even get in there to get food you know they 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 already have the system that's going to be set up so this is up on the article came out on february 4th 2018 it says Metro Vancouver Transport Network, TransLink, has launched a hands-free access system for those with mobile mobility issues at 23 Greater Vancouver Area SkyTrain transit situation. The system employs radio frequency identification technology to prompt get gates to open for those carrying UHF RFID enabled badges. So it's a badge right now. But it's going to be that mark in the future to where you can't get into that that um, that uh, transit station or train, airport, whatever, without that chip. Okay, it says the system employs radio frequency identification technology to prompt gates to open for those carrying UHF RFID enabled badges so that they do not need to use their hands. See, so you won't even need to swipe your hand. Just it being in you, you can be able to walk through the door. Just like at Walmart, right? If you go to Walmart and you take a, a, a product that has a, a tag on it, the alarm goes off, right? So now let's switch it around. If you don't have a tag on, the alarm can go off. The alarm won't, the door will not recognize you. Just like, right, they, they're conditioning people, man. It's grooming. Everything that's out in the society today, from the doors to the, the cell phones, it's all been groomed for this technology, man, for the time of the Jacob's trouble, that trial, man. And it says, but uh, like I was saying, if you go through there and you don't have the chip, the alarms can go off. Uh, it, it, it could beep on you and say, show your chip, please, show your chip, please. You know, an employee will be with you momentarily. You get what I'm saying? So you can be spotted out. They ask you, where's your chip at? Why don't you have your chip? What 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 What's going on? You know, you can't come in here. I mean, you can see how they're going to paint it out, man. You're going to be a so-called outsider if you do not have that chip, that mark. And it says this um, RFID technology, which consists of U.S. Oh, Salaki, hold on. I lost my place on this thing. Um, it says the installation represents 40% of all stations. So it's almost half. It says the agency reports and is slated to be taken live in all SkyTrain and sea buses stations by the end of this year. The hands-free solution known as the Universal Fair Gate. See that? The Universal Fair Gate access program represents the world's first transit authorized system that offers hands-free automated access to display passengers. According to Aaron Windross, TransLink planner for the access transit planning, RFID technology, which consists of UHF access control cards and readers above fair gates. It ain't nothing fair about it, man. Okay, because the word fair goes into beautiful or lovely, man. It says it's not a lovely system, okay? It's provided by Britain, Columbia, British Columbia, RFID, and Internet of Things. LOT solution company. So that's going to be all integrated into that Internet of Things, man. That that mark is going to be the battery that's going to be a component into this so-called society of Internet of Things, all right? 
So uh, the, the the rest of the articles here, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna post the link to it, Alvarado, so you brothers can check it out, man, and look at it. But uh, I'm gonna get some precepts, and we're gonna get up out of here, man. We ain't gonna do too, but I mean, it's just sin. You're seeing it being built in your face. That's why 2018 is the year of prophecy. They already got 40% over there in Vancouver, man. 40% of that, the terminals using this system. All right, this is 2 Corinthians. It's the 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Well-known scripture. 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11. It's a lot of computer. And it says, let's let least. Satan should get an advantage over us. All right. So what I'm going to do here, the word there for advantage is planikitio, planikitio. And it says to have more or a greater part to share, to be superior, excel, surpass. Have an advantage over to gain or to take advantage of another to overreach. So Esau's overreaching with this so-called technology of RFID. He's reaching beyond his, his means, man. But the Lord set him up to do that so he can fulfill scripture, fulfill prophecy. Because at the end of the day, he's the Lord's sword. So he's doing what the Lord wants him to do exactly. The root word to this uh, um, is uh, planakiti. Planakiti. Plenio Kitis. It's a hard one. Let me play it. Strong G, 4123. Planectase. 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 That was way off. <laughs> it says, uh, one eager to have more. See that? So Esau, that's why Esau is not pleased with just having Earth's fatness, the riches, the best land. He's not happy with that. He wants more, man. It says he has all that man's heart can desire, man, but he still wants more. What belongs to another greedy of gain? That's why it says he is a nigger, niggard at the table. Okay? So it says belongs what belongs to another. And what belongs to the Yahabashim Yahshai is his people, man. Okay? It's his people. That's the most high's people, man. It, 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 you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man. Not the world that you, not the, the heathen. Those are just the, the most high uh, workforce, man. That's what they were set up to be. They weren't set up to be the chosen. We're set up to be the kingdom of, of, of kings and priests. That's why his son sprang out of what? Judah, the tribe of Judah, which was what? A, 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 a part of the 12 tribes. All right? That's where the rulership is coming to on the planet Earth, man. And then you got, and then in the time of Solomon, the Solomon put children out here. David put children out here, man. That's that royal bloodline on the planet Earth, man. We're royal people. And he's and, he, and what belongs to another is we belong unto Yahweh Shem Yahshai. So if you jakes that take that mark, you're saying that you don't want to belong to the Lord. You want to belong to, 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 to the devil, man, which is going to be your downfall. Okay? This is the book of, um, oh, I got one more word I wanted to go into. Let's go into the word ignorant. Oh, no. It, uh, yeah, ignorant. We're going to ignorant. And I'm going to close on out. A couple words. Agneo. And the word means to be ignorant. Not know. Not to understand. That's why it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, man. We have to go into these things so we can understand it when it comes. If the Lord never spoke of these things, and warned us, we would take that mark, not unknowingly, man. Okay, you know in your spirit it was wrong, but a lot of people would take it not knowing what's going on. That's why the Lord set up men, by the way of great uh, uh, the apostles and elders, to teach and break this word down, man. He's given it to certain men so they will not, so people will not be ignorant and not know, unknown to err or sin through mistake, to be wrong. So it's gonna be a mistake and a wrong thing. To take that mark of the beast, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Rakati Yahweh Rakati Yahushai Bashim Makar Kadash. Shalom, Akim, keep faith.